Welcome everyone to the reopening ceremony for the Waipahu District or the Bill Balfour Jr. Waipahu District Park Pool. My name is Nate Sirota with the Honolulu Department of Parks and Recreation. Uh, my director and deputy director are out sick today. Uh, they send their regards and they wish everyone the best. And um, it's quite a momentous day today. You know, anytime we can reopen a facility that's been closed uh, for any amount of time and return it back to the public, it's it's really a fantastic opportunity, uh, and especially one that's been closed for several years like this one. You know, so we're excited to have, you know, today we're going to be having our free uh, swim and lap swim starting off right after this ceremony. And we're going to be reopened on Monday, May 1st, actually. It's going to be the first official big reopening day for the public to come, 8.30, water aerobics. Um, so if folks are interested, that's the time to enjoy it. So uh, one thing that I did want to mention as well, though, too, um, one of the many lessons that we learned from this closure is to really take a, a better look at all of our facilities and to see all the issues that we can try and address at one time. Um, so I do want to mention that, you know, while we're going to be reopening uh, on May 1st, and we're really excited to be offering this, particularly for our summer fun cakey, um, that's going to be starting on June 13th. Uh, we, do our, we do have a temporary closure that's planned in August. So we do have a little bit more work to do, but our priority was to get this open for the kids. So we really w rushed some of these last projects to get it done on May 1st for the kids, for the community, so that we could have this open in time. So there will be another temporary closure coming a little bit later, and we'll have more information about that. But we did want to let everyone know that, you know, a little bit more work to be done here, but for the time being, they can enjoy the pool uh, for these coming summer months. Um, and so we have quite a few VIPs here today, but first and foremost, I'd like to introduce uh, Council Member Augie Toba, the Council Member for District 9 here, Waipahu and Eva. Well, first off, uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Like I said, this is uh, a great day. Since August 2017, you know, this pool has been shut down. And since becoming a council member, every month at our neighborhood board, when is the Waipahu pool going to open? Well, it's finally open. And we know what a pool does for a community. I know for myself growing up, when they opened Kali Valley, recreation pool man it was exciting you had everybody you know from the district coming in this is like for us it was a gathering place at the pool i learned a lot about myself i learned that i shouldn't wear a speedo <laughs> no i learned teamwork Kali valley swim team and i learned about being humble when losing a swimming meet I learned so much and most importantly this is where you build friendships this is where you did Marco Polo maybe me and American jump in and do Marco Polo this is where we learn how to hold out bread right and count see who's gonna stand under the water the longest but a lot of it happens right here talking to community kids having fun growing up with each other remembering and building great memories so I want to thank Mayor Rick Blangiardi for uh, working hard and getting this to happen. I would like to welcome a lot of our uh, public officials, Managing Director Formby, Council Member Wire, who was part of the Neighborhood Board for a long time and heard the same complaints. Representative Chun, you know how important this is. Representative Lomasau and Representative Perrick, thank you guys so much for being here and everybody else. Everybody in the back uh, that works here and put their love and support in this community. So thank you so much. I'm gonna be quiet now. I'm gonna bring up Mayor Blangiardi to say a few words. Thank you for being here, everybody. Well, you know, I um, good morning, everybody, and aloha, and thank you for being here. You know, I guess you, uh, you can feel like you've arrived when Augie Telba opens up for you. So, uh, Augie, thank you, yeah. Um, look, we were here a couple of weeks ago to announce Summer Fun, and it was really joyous, and so everything that Augie just said about the hard work, but more than anything, how, how much this means to this community uh, makes this a really good moment. A few weeks ago, we were in the midst now of conducting uh, town halls, and our third town hall we did at the Philcom Center here in Waipahu. And I really wish, since I have cameras in my face right now, we had a camera on the gentleman who came up to ask you know, in a very nice, humble way, not anticipating what he was about to hear, if in fact this pool would ever reopen. And when we said to him, we anticipated that, and we're here to tell you May 1st, the look on his face said volumes to me, you know, on how much this means 
how long it's been waited for. So the fact that it's happening and the kids are going to be here this summer to enjoy it and the community at large is just a great thing. It's one of these things being in public office that it makes it's very gratifying. So thanks for all of you. Augie, thank you. Councilmember Wire for your, your time on the board. Everybody that's been here to help make this a reality. Mahalo and congratulations. Aloha kako. That means aloha everyone. Aloha. <laughs> awesome. It's great to see everyone here and you know after five years the, the pool has opened up again. And it's, it's a great place for the community to come and enjoy water activities, especially the kupuna, to come here and get their daily exercises and have fellowship with all of the other kupunas here and the kids to get them off the street. By honoring the past, we realize that the past and the present are always going to be combined together. So we can continue this. We can learn from the past to better ourselves. And our goal in Kulian is about sharing that aloha, that compassion, about motivating the youth, about not comparing, but working out our differences to make this place a better community. We begin the blessing with the calling of the ancestors to the four corners. And then in the chants, it's about protection. It's about making sure that all that come will be protected and kept safe from this day therefore. And we honor our ancestors in the chant. The prayers has been sent to the ancestors. We feel the presence in the makani. We feel them in the clouds. At this time, let us bow our heads. E pulikako e kia ko mana loa. Alo mai yamako, hui kali yamako, kuko yamako. Kia ko Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the many blessings that you bestow upon us in our lives. We thank all of the uh, special guests and dignitaries that are here and all the community. And we ask that you place blessings upon us and forgive us of our wrongdoings. And we ask that we be more compassionate this day, therefore, and move forward into making Hawaii a better place. We ask that from this day forth, we bless this pool with the blessings that come from Keoko, our creator, and the protection that comes from the ancestors here, from Waipahu, and those ancestors that have been here from the past. We ask that the blessings be placed upon each and every one here that were able to attend this blessing. And everyone said, Amen. That's going to conclude the service. I'm just going to walk with the final blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mahalo.